Okay, so this morning here, we are trying to diagnose and solve a problem. Yesterday when we were driving, all of a sudden the red steering wheel came on when we were on, uh, on autopilot and completely went blank. Um, we lost everything on the uh, screen. We lost the uh, cruise control uh, capability. We lost the uh, cruise control indicator. We lost the speed limit sign. We lost the steering wheel. We lost all visualizations. Uh, the lines were not coming up on the road. Um, and we, we lost everything. Fortunately, we were just a couple miles from home. Uh, when we got home, we did a soft reset by pushing both wheels on the uh, steering wheel uh, and it rebooted the screen. Nothing happened. Um, I then did a hard reset where you put your foot on the brake, push both buttons, and let the system reboot uh, again. Went for a drive, still nothing. Um, had no indications, anything but the car. It showed the headlights were on. It showed the car uh, in the forward position, but nothing was on. So this morning we're on our way to our friend's funeral. It's pouring down rain, and before we take off, we'd really like to have the uh, navigate on autopilot as it's about an hour's drive. So we have um, posted on CF Tesla's Facebook page uh, our dilemma, and um, I won't say who sent me the response just yet because I don't know if it works. If it works, then I'll give him praise and give him uh, the credits for helping us, but if it doesn't work, I don't want to <laughs> sink him yet. So here we go. So what we're supposed to do is go into safety and security and power off. It says to wait three minutes, then press on the brake and uh, wait till the car comes back to life. So now I'm going to go in and set my timer for three minutes. If I can get to my timer there we go three minutes and we're gonna wait so today is day 13 of our ownership of our car so having this happen in day 12 was kind of uh, disheartening however um, as we know with cell phones with computers uh, we often have to reboot them, and this computer has been running for uh, at least a couple of weeks plus, um, so we'll see how, how this works. Um, we've loved the car, love the, the self-drive. It works so great on our commute to work. Um, just this one glitch is all we've had so far, so if this is the worst it gets and this fixes it, uh, we'll be happy campers. Um, you know, when you chart, when you supercharge, you could at least watch, uh, YouTube waiting for this. We can't watch anything. So once this comes back up, uh, comes to life then hold the steering wheel buttons until the screen goes black and keep holding until the T comes up then let go it'll be about 45 seconds then drive a mile or two that's the procedure roadside gave him when his car did this so this is evidently um, not a first-time event for uh, the Model 3 however well, we hope this will fix it as we um, get going. So we have about 65 seconds. It took me 10 seconds or so to uh, get my watch set. And we'll just kind of use that as a buffer to make sure we wait the full three minutes. And I'm sure that's to let the cache out of the memory uh, clear so that it can reboot with fresh instructions and uh, hopefully be back and running um, all the time. So,
we got our car and uh, the first night we did not have our NEMA 1450 outlet put in the garage yet. So we had to charge our first night with the 110 and that didn't go over so well. So I lit a fire under our electrician. He got out, fixed it. And so right now we park outside because we have to totally redesign our garage in order to fit the Tesla inside, but that is the goal. Um, our NEMA 1450 has worked perfect. Uh, we've not had to wait for charging at all. We, we plug it in. So there's our timer. So we plug her in at night and um, we always have a full charge in the morning. All right, so what we need to do now is bring her back to life. So we're gonna touch the brake. And there she came. Oh, let's see here. And then we're to hold down the, the buttons. Now she goes black. Oh, we're supposed to hold them until the T comes on. There's the T. And it says now drive a mile or two and we should be good. All right, so we're gonna pull up to the street is our driveway is around the back of the house and we'll go for okay, a ride. So pulled up the driveway um, and we're getting ready to leave. I had a glimpse of a visualization. So I'm hope I'm hopeful. Could it have happened? Would it fix it? Oh, I see lines. I see cruise control indicator. Uh, it looks like it fixed it. There's our lines. It looks like it's fixed. There's a parked car. As we exit the subdivision here, we'll get out on the street. We'll, um, oh, there's our stop signs. We had lost stop signs, visualizations. We had lost everything um, on the screen. The only thing that was showing up was the car. And it looks like it has fixed it. As we um, get out here on the road, will our steering wheel show back up? There's our steering wheel. All right, Marty. Marty from CF Tesla. Um, you are the bomb diggity. We appreciate your input. Appreciate the CF Tesla Facebook page. Uh, we're able to post um, questions and, and problems and the experience of everyone there is able to uh, help and assist and we're so grateful we're on our way y'all have a nice day and uh, safe driving we'll see you next time bye-bye